We are at the plantation, Myrtle Plantation. <laughs> Where are we at, Jerry? We are at the Myrtle's Plantation. Do you want me to tell you a little bit about it? Yes. Okay. Walk backwards. I've been here before. It looks a lot different. They've built a lot more. They got the restaurant built again. Um, it had burned down a couple, uh, well, back in 2017, I think we were here, me and your sister. And, um, oh my God, there's so much more here and so many more people. But I don't know if you've ever heard of Myrtle's Plantation. Ghost Adventures has done um, a um, one of their uh, shows here. Um, they've been on other documentaries. The, the biggest um, story about Myrtle's, there's a couple. Um, the slave... Uh, Chloe okay Chloe was a slave girl that lived here who was having an affair with her master at the time um, I have done a documentary before on Myrtles but let me just I'm just trying to talk off the cuff because it's been a while but the gist of it all is Chloe was not getting the attention anymore like she wanted and she didn't want to be stuck outside because back then you know if you were a slave here and you were a cook you cooked outside in hot louisiana she was a house servant so also she was having a, a love affair with the master well she had um, at one time she was e caught eavesdropping in on the men's parlor and the door flew open, Chloe fell in. It is said that they cut her ear off for that. Then, to try to win back the affections of her, um, of her master who she was in love with, who started to be like, she was scared. She was like, oh, I'm gonna be kicked out. I know I'm gonna be outside working out in that hot kitchen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bake a birthday cake for the kids, one of the kids, one of the little kids was having a birthday coming up and she used oleander. She didn't know, she just thought it would make them sick and that um, she would, uh, you know, nurse them back to health, whatever that syndrome is called. Stock, is it, what is it called? Anyway, I can't remember. Um, but she thought, I'll nurse them back to health, I'll win back, you know, the I'll be a winner. Well, that backfired on her. She killed both kids and even the mother the wife of the uh, the uh, slave owner, and um, so when it killed them, you know, they were like, well, they hung her from a tree somewhere here, and then threw her body in the Mississippi, because the saying goes, if you hang a slave on the property and leave it, they'll haunt the place. Well, guess what? She haunted the haunts the place. Now, there's another legend that states about a Cleo. Um, a Cleo actually came to visit a sick man here. Like I said, it's been a while. I'm talking off the cuff. Cleo was sent to cure with voodoo a sick man here. And I've got a third story after that, which is an unsolved murder. Anyway, Cleo did not, whatever potion, whatever. It didn't work out. The man died. So they were like, well, it didn't work out. So we're going to hang you too. So Cleo was another uh, voodoo practitioner who was hung here, thrown in the Mississippi River. Thought to haunt here too. Okay. Now, true Some of these are legends. But anyways, now there is one that is a real story for sure. Unsolved murder. Um, the last family that lived here, and like I said, I will have to look all that back up. He died on the 17th step. He came outside. Somebody called his name from the front, okay? Um, he came outside. They shot him. He made it to the, he, made, he ran back inside. He made it to the 17th step, step. His wife met him on the landing, and he died in her arms. That is still an unsolved murder till this day. And if we take the tour, they'll tell you all about that, so.
But yeah, we're at Myrtle's Plantation. It has been featured on Ghost Adventures and other paranormal documentaries. And I was here back in like 2017 and this place has changed a lot. So we'll leave it at that and um, we'll check you out later. Thank you.